Hi, and welcome back to my channel. So today, round two on the search for the perfect adventure helmet. And today the helmet is the Showy Hornet X2. Now, this is actually a helmet that belongs to a friend of mine, Mike. So shout out to Mike. Thank you for letting me try this helmet. And it's, it's exactly what I thought it was gonna be. It's a showy product and, and that's top of the line product. So I feel like I could stop right there and say, if you've ever owned a showy helmet, you know what you're gonna get. But let's talk about the, the pluses and minuses. So the first thing, and, and I've heard before, is people talk about the opening, uh, this part, and they say it's small. Um, I would agree. Um, I, I did wear it, and I, I took a ride in it, and I, I put this on over my head just so I didn't get my nasty ass hair gel in Mike's helmet, but uh, this is super thin, so it's not, it's not like I was wearing a, you know, a, another hat. This is the same size as my showy Neotech, and once the helmet's on, I, I, I say it fits me. Um, it doesn't hurt my head, it's super comfortable. And when I describe my Neotech, I, I say I feel like there's a pillow surrounding my head. Um, just an incredible feeling. It, it makes you want to go faster because you feel invincible, right? I got the same thing, except for putting it on and taking it off. Almost painful, and that's a word I stole from Mike. Um, it is small getting on and off. Um, another thing that I that I noticed was literally just a, a day or so ago on one of the BMW forums that I frequent, someone asked about adventure helmets. They say, Do, does the, the bill, the visor here, are you able to use that to block sun? Now, I used to have a, a Bell MX-9 adventure helmet and I literally just sold it. And I answered the question and said, sure, you could. But thinking about that bell, I don't know that I could or not. I know at times in strong winds, the wind would blow the, the bill like it would tuck down. So I, I take off with, with this helmet on and the first thing I know is the visor sticks out more. It's, it's, it's an adventure helmet, so it's got a ton of field of view, which is one of the reasons that I want to go to this style helmet permanently. So I could see the visor out there. It's not restricting anything. So absolutely, you could use that visor, tuck your head down just a little bit and block out the sun. So if you've got the right helmet, absolutely you could do that. So uh, another thing that, that Mike mentioned, and, and I didn't wear it long enough to, to tell you that I did, was he felt the speaker placements, he could feel them in his ears. I can tell you that I didn't. And again, this thing is, is super thin. So I think if there would have been something there really obvious, I, I feel like I would have felt it, and, and I didn't. So uh, I, I'm not saying Mike's wrong. Maybe in the long term you would find it. So I, I would like to see a spot for speakers. We all put headsets in our helmets, right? So for music or phone calls or just to chat with our buddies. So I would like to see that. So referring to my notes here, Price point on the, the matte black one is, is 609, so 609.99. So we'll say 610 bucks. So that's, that's a decent priced helmet. It's, it's not over the top, but it's, it's not cheap either. Um, I'm looking for a transitional shield and Shoei does offer one and that's another $210. So now we're talking $820 for this helmet the way I want it. It's pretty expensive. Uh, my Neotech, which is a, it's a modular helmet. It's a great helmet. I can't get a transitional shield for it. So that's what put me on this hunt. I do have another helmet coming and, and it's, uh, I think I paid, I don't know, I'll get to that. So uh, the helmet that I was looking for in, in the showy was 720, depending on paint. So they range from 610 to 720, depending on the paint color scheme that you get. So what I'll tell you is you put this helmet on, you can feel it around your whole head. Uh, super, super comfortable, super quiet. It's quieter than my Neotech. And, and, and I, I, I mean that, I, I took a ride and one of the things about a GS is it's got a lot of road noise. Man, this, this thing was great. The visor doesn't dance around, it didn't pull on my head, it didn't do anything. 
uh, I really liked it. It doesn't flow a ton of air compared to like the Bell that I had. And I do know that, you know, obviously anything with a, a vent and, and some hash marks up here or something, it's going to flow more air. It's also going to be louder. So maybe it can flow a little more air. Uh, it was 92. I'm, I'm still a little hot. Um, it was 92 when I, when I took my ride. And what I did is I, I did like a, a 30 mile loop. I uh, came back, took this helmet off, put my Neotech on, and went right back out. Uh, no music on either ride, so kept it the same. And I do feel like this helmet is quieter than my Neotech. It also, and, and, and I didn't go to the website and look at this, I, I hope this is true. It also feels like it's it's oblong. Um, my Neotech almost feels round. When you, when you look at things, the peripheral vision, you know, again, one of the reasons I'm going to this style helmet full time, it has a huge field of view. You can, you can see everything. So uh, this helmet feels egg shaped, so to speak, uh, super light. I, I, I don't know what it weighs. I don't know, go, go to their website for that. Uh, it's light, uh, didn't feel any restriction. The visor never tucked wind, caught anything and, and had me pulling and yanking. Uh, I could easily tell you that this would be my one-stop helmet, uh, easily. I do feel like this is uh, this is a large, which is what I wear in my Neotech. I, I may bump it up and get an extra large. Um, maybe it would help me flow a little more air. I, I don't know, but super comfortable. Um, the quality and fit and finish of a showy helmet is first class, and. Man, if you can find one, and that's your next next challenge, find the helmet, find a pair of boots, find a lot of stuff. COVID really has jacked up. So if you're looking for an adventure helmet and you can find a showy that fits you, I don't think you're gonna be disappointed. Um, been a really good helmet. Now, Mike opted for the tinted shield. And, and one thing I'll, I'll tell you, and I, I don't know that this is a strike against it, uh, raising and lowering the shield, it's 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 tight. So my my Neotech kind of goes up and down. I, I guess I got a year on that helmet, and and it you know it doesn't take any effort. This takes some effort. Um, I, I think that could be good if you're if you're a guy that likes to ride with it just a little bit cracked. Uh, I, I don't feel the wind's going to push it down and knock it down. So I think that would be okay. Um, comes with a pin lock. Comes with it does not come with a tinted shield that you see here today. It comes with a clear shield and a pin lock. So for 610 in the matte black, it's a that's a pretty good bargain. That's a pretty good bargain. Um, comfort wise, I, I give it a 10. I mean, man, it's a great, great helmet. So um, I, I won't rule this out as being the helmet I end up with. Like I said, I, I have one. I have a helmet on order, and I'm going to compare it next a um, couple days when it gets here, and we'll, we'll test it out. But this uh, this set the, the bar pretty high. So again, if you're looking for an adventure helmet and you have a showy that you can find that fits you, man, I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Um, great helmet, and again, thanks, Mike, for letting me use your helmet to test it and, and check things out. Again. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, keep, uh, keep an eye out for the next video. I hope you got something out of this one. Again, the Showy Hornet, um, matte black, about 610. Great value, great helmet. If you're looking for one helmet, I really think this this will work for you. All right, again, thanks, have a great day, be safe.